Hey there. Today we talk about compound intervals. A very tricky sounding subject which is totally not a big deal. Check this out. We'll do this in a minute. F to A. What is that interval? Major third. Okay, check it out. Watch this. What? Did you see what I did? It's still F to A, but I put the A up an octave. So really what this is, it's still a major third plus an octave. Okay, makes sense. It's the same notes, same same letters as a, ma a major third, but I just add an octave. Thing is, well, how much is an octave? An octave is eight. This line from F to F is eight. The space is nine, ten. This is actually a tenth. Do you see how we got that? An octave is 8, then 9, and then 10. It's a tenth. It's very tempting to say an octave is 8, and then you add a third, which gives us 11. That would be wrong. And it has to do with repeating the, the top F. So just know a tenth. So a tenth is the same as an octave and a third. And this is a major third. This is a major tenth. Okay? So, if I had G up to B flat, well, if, if it was this G to this B flat, would you be able to figure out that that's a major third? But what we have here is, there's your octave, 9 tenth. We have a minor tenth. That's a compound interval. A compound interval is simply an interval more than an octave. And it's, 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 it's like a fraction where we can reduce it. Yes, this is a tenth, and a tenth is different from a third. However, they will sound very similar, and we could refer to this as a minor tenth, or as a minor third plus an octave. Okay. What about this? F to C. What is that interval? Well, F to F is an octave. That's 8, 9, 10, 11, that's a twelfth. Okay. Now, what kind of twelfth? Well, if it were this F to this C, those are parentheses, what kind of, well, what would that interval be? That would be a fifth. It would be a perfect fifth, so this is a perfect twelfth. Make sense? A compound interval is an interval plus an octave, and it's the same quality as the, the base interval, but we need to refer to, or we need to be able to refer to them both ways. So an octave and a third is a tenth, octave and a fifth is a twelfth. You'll see these up to, oh, probably 13 is the most common highest number. Beyond that, people will mostly refer to them as, you know, intervals plus octaves. But that's all, that's all it is. Have a great day.